Welcome back to 15th Street Automotive. Uh, we got a 2018 Ford Explorer. Uh, customer concern is that the uh, all-terrain switch in the console um, doesn't light up or uh, change any settings. So we're going to scan this thing, see if we can't find any codes, and then go from there. All right, so I pulled up the codes on this thing, and uh, it's got two codes in it, but they're the same code essentially. Uh, basically, the all-terrain control module um, is not communicating. Uh, it's on the same network as the instrument panel and the anti-lock brake system, and they're not uh, seeing the messages from it, so um, they've set codes. In the console here we've got this uh, switch and it's got the different modes that you can change to um, you know hills, snow, uh, downhill uh, all these other different modes you can change but there's no lights there and it doesn't change if you if you turn it so um, that is uh, it's basically just a knob but that's essentially the uh, all-terrain control module um, so uh, it won't communicate, doesn't light up, uh, could just be a fuse, uh, could be a bad ground, could be the module itself is bad. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get in this thing, check, uh, uh, make sure that the fuse is good. Uh, once the fuse has been checked and if it's good then uh, we'll uh, get into the module in here or get into the console in here and uh, um, uh, check the uh, powers and grounds at the module um, and then we'll check and see if the uh, if there's CAN data coming out of it. Uh, let's uh, pull up the schematic and see what we find. So here's the uh, wiring schematic for that uh, all-terrain control module. It's pretty simple. Um, there's no dotted lines around this uh, um, box here so that's all the schematics that it, it's in in there uh, it's got a power um, coming off of a 5 amp fuse and the BCM going in it's got a ground uh, and it's got two can lines so uh, pretty darn simple uh, let's uh, get underneath the dash and see if we can find the uh, uh, body control module uh, fuse number uh, F21 so here is the schematic for the uh, the BCM. It's uh, under the uh, uh, left side of the instrument cluster uh, above the driver's feet. Um, so we're looking for fuse F21. Uh, that appears to be one of those triple fuses and it's the uh, left side of that triple fuse. So if you've ever seen those triple fuses, they're basically a regular fuse except for there's three legs coming off of them. Um, hot side coming up the middle and then it branches off to two different uh, circuits uh, to either side and we want to check the left side of that fuse um, uh, for uh, for 12 volts. A um, little 5 amp fuse so it doesn't carry much much amperage. But uh, let's get another dash and see if we can find that sucker. Underneath the dash here, this is the uh, BCM here, those are the fuses, uh, and the one we're looking for is this, this is that triple fuse here. Uh, you can see there's a terminal there, the center terminal and the left terminal. We're, we're interested in the left terminal, so the center of that, the center of that fuse is hot. See, there's hot going in, and if we come over here to the left side of it, uh, yep, we can see we got power. We've got power at the fuse and through the fuse, both sides of that fuse is good. So fuse is not our problem. Next step is to get into the console and uh, and make sure we have what we need. Uh, to the control module itself. So this is the uh, module we need to get to 
and uh, shouldn't be too terribly difficult to get in there. So I've got it propped up with my light right there. This is the module right here. And right there is where there should be a connector connected. There is no connector connected. So if we look in here, there is a connector lying here. So let me uh, plug this connector in. Okay, so this is our connector that's supposed to be plugged in here. Kind of funny how these things happen like this. Makes me think that we're being watched when we do this. when you find something unplugged that's simple like this. Oh! Plug it in and we have a light. So let's uh, plug our scanner back in. So let's go uh, quick erase, see if we can erase those codes. And look at that. No codes. Imagine that. So uh, once I cleared the codes and uh, closed the door and shut the engine off to start it back up, the uh, codes all went away. Um, you can see that the uh, all-terrain control module has no faults. Uh, if we pan back here a bit you can see the uh, mode switch changes as I turn it. And then up on the dash here if you look at that I can change different modes. So everything's working. Uh, I have no idea why the uh, control module is disconnected. Um, this is on a uh, this is a used car lot, so uh, people do funny things at auctions. So um, plugging it in and clearing the codes, uh, cycling the key, uh, made everything work. So kind of weird. Uh, I was kind of hoping to have a cool video for you, but uh, there you go. Sometimes. Uh, Sometimes you get an easy one. Thanks for watching.